Hi, it's Cheryl here with Caribou Country Lifestyle. So I'm standing, sitting here in front of my seeds that I've started in on my seed starting stand and I just want to show you some of the seeds that have sprouted and have not sprouted. So let's take a look. Over here, those are the geraniums that I started. I started 10 geranium seeds and I have five geraniums that have sprouted. These two are still under cover and nothing has happened. And if ha nothing has happened by now, pr chances are that those seeds are not going to start. So I'm not really even worried about them anymore. And those geranium seeds I started on February the 25th. So let's move over to my snapdragons. Now these are the snapdragons and I started those March the 5th and it's the 12th today. And I have a few little snapdragons. These are the Mardi Gras. So I have some that have started, but not all of them. And the same over here, this is the rainbow. I have very little that have sprouted. Not all of them, so I'm going to keep the plastic on this tray until I see a good majority of them have started to sprout. Now if I go down here, this is the begonias and these are the ones that I started February the 25th, but these are the ones that take 15 to 60 days to sprout. Now I have over here, I have these or the peppers that I had started. So here are my jalapeno peppers and I have quite a few that have sprouted on those. And if I look in behind, these are the cayenne, nothing has sprouted yet. Over here we have the Tabasco, nothing has sprouted yet. But here I have my eggplant, on this side is the Vittoria. And this is the Black Beauty. The Black Beauty have sprouted, but not the Vittoria. So we'll have to wait for the Vittorias. And here, in the back, chamomile has sprouted back here. In front of it, my lavender has not. Next to that, this is the Foxglove. A lot of it has sprouted. Next to it, I only have one little rosemary right here that has sprouted. Behind the rosemary is my little darling snapdragons. Nothing has sprouted. And here I have carnations. I have one sprout. Still waiting. Over here there's the mini mix and most of them have sprouted on the mini mix. So I'm happy about that. That actually only took about five days five, six days for them to sprout. So th that's pretty good. I do, down below, I do have some that were in total darkness. And one of the trays is on a heat mat and that's the, would be the verbena. And I took a look at it and I think I only have two seeds that have sprouted from it so far. So I'm not gonna bother trying to show you those couple of little seeds. My pansies, I just started those. Those haven't sprouted either. So today we're going to be starting on our third episode of our seed starting series. I will be starting the my sweet peppers and echinacea, some salvia and dianthus. So and there's a couple more. I can't think of what they are. Let's go have a look over there. Those seeds that have sprouted, I have wrote it down in my book as far as what the date was when they sp started to sprout. And like with the ones like my rosemary that, and my carnations, I only have one sprout. So I've wrote that down, that one sprout sprouted on this day and I write the date down. I still have to wait for the rest of them to sprout. So. Let's get started and we're going to start the some of my sweet pepper seeds. Okay, we're going to start with uh, this hybrid gypsy sweet pepper. I grew this last year. I enjoyed this one. 
It has uh, more of an elongated pepper. It is sweet, uh, more narrow and tapered down. And I enjoyed these. I only have four seeds left of this one. So I'm just going to plant all four, take a look and see which tag is for that. So these are the gypsy. I had, this is uh, what I have here is a four cell tray. So that worked out perfect. So there I have my gypsy peppers, they're planted. Next I'm going to do the California Wonder and that's a sweet pepper as well, more of a blocky type of pepper. They will be, they start out green and they go to a red color. So again, I will look and this one is the, I have labeled the California Wonder. And I'm going to put two seeds in each of these cells. I only planted the four in that other one because that's all I had. But I am going to plant two in each and then I will split them up or depending on if the seed takes, I may not have to split them up. And I am going to put these into a little plastic bag. So that is the California Wonder and I'm going to put them into a plastic bag to store for next year when I start my seeds. And plus I can see exactly how many seeds that I have left and I'll have enough here to do seeds for next year, no problem. So I'll put those away. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to st try some of these. It's a color mix bell pepper. My sister gave me these. We did a little seed swap. I went to Saskatchewan to go visit my sister and last August, and we did a little seed swap. I gave her some seeds. She gave me some seeds. And so she gave me some of these color mix bell peppers. I don't have a lot of information on them. All I have is they take 75 to 80 days to mature and this is the one so again I am going to start two seeds in each cell I have four cells again and and I will put these back into this bag I actually have quite a few left over that I can have some more next year. Hopefully that these turn out well. My last one is a new one that I'm doing and it's called the Big Bertha Hybrid Pepper. And that is another sweet pepper. It is more of a blocky style pepper as well. And they can get about four inches in diameter and seven inches long. And I think these ones also, they turn from green to red, it says on the package. So I will do two of in each cell. And if they all take, I will get eight plants out of it. And I will probably end up giving some of those away or I could end up selling them. I'm going to put those leftover seeds into a little baggie and that leaves me with five seeds for next year. We'll see how they turn out. So that is it for planting my seeds. I'm just going to do a light layer of soil over top of it and again these will go under a plastic top. I'm actually just going to add them to those other pepper plants that I had started last weekend, my hot peppers. I'm just going to add these seed trays with the, these sweet peppers and I'll put them under cover on, under the, in the same tray. 
because I still have some room. I moved some stuff around because I knew I was going to have to put these with the other ones on a heat mat. I only have two heat mats and I have my verbena starting seeds on a heat mat under in total darkness. So I think next year I'm going to purchase a third heat mat. I wasn't sure if I was going to need it or not. So I'm going to add these to those other pepper plants. Okay, so here I have my Dianthus that I'm going to be starting. This is the Crimson Eye. This Dianthus is actually a biennial and that will grow and flower every second year, kind of like a hollyhock does. I grew this last year. I did put a lot of them in planters, so they definitely are not going to come back because I threw those plants out, out of the planters. But I did grow some in front of my house in the ground, so those ones should come back as plants for since they are a biennial. So I'm going to do these two sets of trays. This is a, like a three by five inch cell and I can start six seeds in each of these. And I have exactly 12 seeds of the Dianthus. So I'm just going to plant all 12 seeds in here. So that'll make that easy. But this year, I'm going to make sure I put them in areas that they're going to be able to grow each year. I won't put them in pots because I didn't realize that when I did plant them in a pot last year that they were a biennial. So I'm going to make sure I have these in the ground so that they do have a chance to come back. Next, I'm going to be planting this money plant. And this is kind of an interesting plant because when it grows, it has these papery leaves on here. And this is a biennial as well. And it has here that those are flat, translucent seed pods. And you can use them in dried arrangements. So it says that they're a sweet scent and they have purple and white blossoms. Now I did try these before and I don't think they actually took. So let's try it again and see fairly large seeds. So I have, let's take a look. Maybe I have just enough to put one in each spot. I got three, six, nine, twelve, fourteen. I am going to plant all of them and see what happens because I don't think these actually, I don't remember getting any plants off of any seeds that I started. So I will just do all fourteen seeds and see what happens. Now with, I did write down in my book, these ones, they take about 14 days to sprout and you plant them a quarter of an inch deep, but when they grow, they get two to three feet high. And these extra seeds, I am just going to plunk in each spot. So now I'm going to add a little bit of soil on top and I'm just going to break up this soil so it's a little bit lighter. And I will put a plastic dome over top until they, the seeds sprout. I can't remember how I planted these the last time, especially the money plant. I don't remember how I planted them. Maybe that was the problem is I didn't put a dome over top of it and maybe they just didn't sprout. So I am definitely going to put a dome over 
these ones and we'll see what happens. Just keep an eye on it. Next, I have some echinacea. Echinacea is a perennial flower. It will grow in a zone three to a zone nine. And we are a zone three because I live in uh, central beast, British Columbia, Canada. And we, with a zone three, in the winter, we can get as anywhere in between minus 30 and minus 40. And we have seen those temperatures, those cold temperatures over the years here. Now with the echinacea, I will be just putting a light cover over these seeds. I am going to have to provide them with darkness and it says here that the germination may be erratic so I'm not exactly sure what that's going to mean. What I'm going to do is I'll put a light cover of soil over top of these and I have my pansies in total darkness so I am going to put these echinacea starts. I will put those in with the pansies under the total darkness and we'll see how it goes. I'll just add a little bit of soil on each of these. I only had nine seeds so I decided just to plant them all. I will give this a little spray of water. I also have a tag for these too, which is very important to have the tags done up. I'll just give it a little spray of water and I will add these with my pansies. Okay, so total darkness, putting them in with my pansies. And we'll see how that works out. Or my last set of plants that I'm going to be, for my seeds that I'm going to be starting, I am going to be doing salvia. And these are really nice. This is the blaze of fire salvia. And I love growing salvia. It has these beautiful red spiky flowers on it. They are an annual, not a perennial. And I have decided I'm going to do the salvia. Half of this flat will be in salvia. And then the other half is going to be the Crystal Palace Lobelia. And the salvia, it gets 24 inches high. And I am just going to put six seeds in each of these three by five inch cells. I'm going to try and pay attention because I get talking and I end up messing things up. With the salvia seeds, once I plant the seeds in here, I will not cover them with any soil. That is what is recommended to be able to get the germination of the seed for it to sprout. And the same will go for the lobelia as well. And then once I plant these, I will just put a plastic dome over top of them and put them under the lights. They're uh, quite a bit of a bigger seed the salvia is compared to the lobelia. Lobelia's seed is very fine and small and I'm sure you will see the difference once I put them on the plate. I don't think I grew any salvia last year and uh, I'm, I miss not having salvia. Okay, I got six more seeds to go. Still going to leave me with quite 
a few seeds left over, which is good. I think I do have another type of salvia. It is a red still, but it's an, a different variety of red. I'm just going to get these into the bag. And it has one of these wax paper bags that it came in. So there I planted my salvia and then on the other side will be Crystal Palace Lobelia. I really like this one. And the Lobelia gets four to five inches high. This is an upright variety. Some Lobelia you can get, they are a trailing variety. I'm not gonna dump this out over top of my <laughs> dirt. That might be a disaster. Cause if they fall off, I don't know if you can see these are so tiny. They're, these seeds are smaller than, ah, oh my gosh. That could have been disastrous. Let's uh, be a little more careful about what we're doing here. Okay, so because these are so small, I am not gonna know how many seeds I'm putting on. And I just like to run my finger over it and I just am going to take however many seeds I can get and I'm gonna just sprinkle it over top of the surface of the dirt and hope for the best. Now, when I'm taking them off the plate, I'm also dragging it over the soil. I wouldn't hold it over the soil that I did my salvia on because who knows if I wouldn't end up getting the seeds mixed up. I don't want to do that intentionally. Not like I planted my pansy seeds where I messed that up and ended up planting two different kinds of pansy seeds in the same cell. But, you I mean, you learn from your mistakes. And I am just, because these are so fine, I am just dragging the rest of these seeds right off the plate and over the soil. So then I'm just going to, with the Lobelia, I'm just going to kind of press down on it lightly. That was uh, also recommended. And I'm just making sure that the seed gets in contact with the moist soil. And I think that's the idea of lightly pressing it down is so that the seeds have some contact with the soil. Now, I could have seeds stuck to my fingers for all I know, hoping that they're not, because they're so fine, I wouldn't even see them stuck to my fingers. So I'll just give my fingers a little brush. It actually went uh, pretty painlessly. So next week, I will be doing a bunch of my herbs. So on my calendar, we have, it's the weekend of the 18th and the 19th of March. And I will be starting all of my onions from seed. I'll be starting those. I have three varieties of onions in a seed. And I will be starting my oregano, basil, thyme, parsley, tarragon and the borage so if you want to join me next weekend for that video just keep an eye out for that one thanks for joining me for this video if you like the video throw a like in there hopefully you found it what well, hopefully you found it helpful and if you haven't subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe button so thanks for joining me and we'll talk again soon bye for now